Picture this, it's a dimly lit room, the air thick with anticipation. You sink into the worn out sofa, popcorn bowl in hand, as the flickering glow of the television screen casts eerie shadows on the walls. It's your very first encounter with the 1976 cult classic, Squirm. The mere mention of the title still sends a shiver down your spine, doesn't it? As the opening credits roll and the unsettling music begins to play, you can't help but recall that electrifying feeling of excitement mingled with trepidation. That's the magic of cinema, isn't it? It transports you to a different world, one where earthworms become creatures of nightmare, and rural Georgia becomes the stage for a horrifying, wriggling invasion. But let's not dive too deep into that unsettling world just yet. Instead, let's embark on a journey filled with intriguing tidbits and random facts about this spine-tingling classic. After all, who wouldn't want to uncover the mysteries and curiosities that lie beneath the surface of a movie like Squirm? So, fasten your seatbelts, dear reader, as we venture into the fascinating world of this cult horror film. From the shocking special effects to the quirks of its production, well unveil it all. And who knows, you might discover some details that even the most devoted Squirm fanatics have missed. Stay tuned for a roller coaster ride of information, all about the movie that made us reconsider our garden's tiny inhabitants. And yes, it's all right here. In 1976, the movie Squirm slithered its way onto the silver screen delivering a spine-tingling experience to viewers. The inspiration for this creepy crawly horror flick came from an unusual childhood experiment conducted by director Jeff Lieberman and his brother. One evening, these two adventurous brothers connected a train transformer to wet soil, using electricity to coax hundreds of worms out of the ground. Young Lieberman keenly observed that the worms desperately tried to escape from the glaring flashlight the boys used for illumination. This experiment unveiled the scientific basis for the film, and it's intriguing to note that this childhood tale found its way into the movie's narrative through the character Roger Grimes. But the unusual quirks of Squirm don't stop there. In a peculiar turn of events during the 1980s, WPIX-TV in New York accidentally aired the film in black and white. Rather than protest, director Jeff Lieberman surprisingly embraced this mishap. He expressed his love for the monochromatic look of the film, and even encouraged viewers to watch it in black and white, despite the absence of an official black and white version. To do this, all one had to do was turn the color setting all the way down on their TV set. Moreover, the film's dedication to authenticity extended to its casting. Ra Dao, who portrayed the character Roger, took method acting to a whole new level. Before the shoot began, Dao immersed himself in the local culture by residing in Port Wentworth. Georgia, for several weeks. This allowed him to develop a genuine feel for the local character, adding an extra layer of authenticity to his performance. Intriguingly, Squirm not only brought the horror of worms to the forefront, but also showcased the unusual inspirations and preferences of its director. With childhood experiments, accidental black and white screenings, and method acting, this film continues to wriggle its way into the annals of cinematic history. So, next time you decide to watch Squirm, consider turning off the color and experiencing it the way director Jeff Lieberman intended. You might just find the black and white version adds a unique dimension to the creepy crawly horror. In the 1976 movie Squirm, director Jeff Lieberman achieved some remarkable effects without the use of special effects trickery. One standout scene in the film involved a tree crashing through the roof of the Sanders' house and into their dining room. According to Lieberman, the scene was captured in a single take. They released an actual cut tree from a crane to fall through the constructed set, with the actors on set. Multiple cameras were strategically placed inside the set to capture the actors fleeing for their lives as the large tree landed perilously close to them. It was a daring and heart-pounding moment in the film, showcasing the director's commitment to creating authentic and visceral thrills on screen. This fascinating insight into the filmmaking process reveals the dedication and ingenuity behind the scenes of Squirm. The use of practical effects and the real danger faced by the actors add an extra layer of tension and authenticity to the movie, making it a memorable and unique entry in the horror genre. So, the next time you watch Squirm, remember that the heart-pounding tree crash scene was no illusion, it was a real, one-take spectacle that left the actors genuinely fleeing for their lives. 
the fictional setting of Squirm, debunking the Fly Creek myth in the world of 1,976 seconds Squirm. A horror film directed by Jeff Lieberman, there is a claim that the story is based on a real incident that unfolded in Fly Creek, Georgia. However, this assertion is entirely fictional. There is no actual place called Fly Creek where such events occurred. The movie follows a nightmarish scenario in which a town is terrorized by bloodthirsty, electrified worms after a storm electrifies the soil. While the film portrays Fly Creek as the backdrop for this horror, it turns out to be a fictional creation for the sake of the story. In reality, no such place as Fly Creek, Georgia exists on the map. The film's setting is a product of creative imagination rather than a recounting of factual events. This revelation highlights the power of storytelling in the world of cinema, where fictional locales can become as memorable as real ones. The film may not be rooted in reality, but its ability to create a sense of place and evoke fear is a testament to the storytelling prowess of the filmmakers. It goes to show that even in the world of horror, a made-up setting can be just as terrifying as a real one. So, the next time you watch Squirm and shiver at the thought of those electrified worms, remember that the town of Fly Creek is as imaginary as the creatures themselves. In the 1976 movie Squirm, a mix-up at the film processing lab led to an unusual situation. Instead of getting the footage they expected, director Jeff Lieberman received film footage from a wedding, while the newlyweds received B-roll footage of the worms used in the film. This unexpected twist added an unintended layer of humor to the production. Sylvester Stallone actively pursued a role in the movie, eager to play the character Roger. However, the part eventually went to a different actor. On the other hand, Martin Sheen was briefly attached to the project to play the character Mick before the final casting decisions were made. Director Jeff Lieberman cited Alfred Hitchcock's film The Birds as a significant influence on Squirm. This classic Hitchcock thriller, centered around menacing birds, served as inspiration for the tense and suspenseful atmosphere created in Squirm. In summary, Squirm had its share of interesting behind-the-scenes anecdotes, including the film Lab Mix-Up and the casting choices influenced by stars like Sylvester Stallone and Martin Sheen. Director Jeff Lieberman's acknowledgement of Hitchcock's The Birds as a major influence sheds light on the film's stylistic direction. In 1976, the movie Squirm provided viewers with a spine-tingling experience, but what happened behind the scenes is just as intriguing. Here are the fascinating details, local talent, beyond the main cast. The film featured locals from Port Wentworth, Georgia, where it was shot. This small town became the backdrop for the creepy crawly horror. Involving the community in the production added authenticity to the movie's rural setting. Quick filming, Squirm was produced on a tight schedule, with shooting completed in just 24 days. This brisk pace reflects the efficiency of the production team in bringing the unsettling story to life. Worms from the ceiling, one memorable scene in the film shows worms pouring out of a living room ceiling. But here's the twist, it wasn't as it seemed. The filmmakers used a clever technique. They turned the camera upside down and dropped live worms onto a mock-up of the ceiling. When played in reverse, it created the illusion of worms emerging from a hole in the ceiling, adding to the movie's eerie atmosphere. Squirm not only delivered shivers to its audience, but also showcased the resourcefulness of its creators in bringing the horror to life, with locals, tight schedules, and clever camera tricks. A true classic of its time. As we draw the curtains on this cinematic journey through the unforgettable world of 1,976 seconds Squirm, I hope you found this retrospective to be as electrifying as the film itself. This cult classic, directed by Jeff Lieberman, has woven its way into the hearts of horror aficionados, leaving an indelible mark on the genre. Now, I'd like to invite you to take a moment to reflect. Think back to the first time you encountered Squirm. Was it a late-night movie marathon with friends, or perhaps a solo adventure into the eerie depths of southern gothic horror? What emotions did it evoke? The creeping sense of dread as those ravenous earthworms emerged from the soil, or maybe the suspenseful anticipation of each shocking twist. We all have our unique connections to this film, and I'd love to hear about yours. Whether it's a cherished memory, a lingering fear, or an appreciation for the sheer ingenuity of practical effects, your thoughts and recollections are valuable. 
Share your favorite Squirm memories, stories, or insights with fellow enthusiasts, and let's keep the conversation alive. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of Squirm. Your time and interest are deeply appreciated. Let's continue celebrating this cult classic and its enduring legacy. Until next time, keep the nostalgia alive and keep those worms at bay. Stay electrified and remember, your reflections are the essence of what makes this cinematic adventure truly remarkable.